Drill of the week time on kicking it in the neighborhood. This is one of our team shooting drills. It started out as an individual shooting drill uh, that our, our individuals love so much in their in their one on one workouts that we've morphed this into a team shooting drill. Uh, meets all the criteria that we look for in a shooting drill. It's our game spots. So we shoot them from our locks, our windows and our dragons. Easily changed to fit whatever spots you might get in your offense, but these are where the majority of our threes come. They're also game shots. We love a no-step three or a one-two-step three. Those threes when somebody drives it and kicks it to us and we're locked or maybe slightly on the move and we have to step into our shot with a one-two-step. Also in a game chaos and a game pressure situation. Uh, as we get going, you'll see there's a, a little bit of built-in pressure into this drill uh, with the people you're standing in line with. So, game chaos, we're getting our own rebounds, we're passing, we're, use, we're utilizing very few managers, maybe for long rebounds, but really trying to create some chaos with the drill as well. This is a passing drill. Um, we've started using every drill to become a passing drill. This, these passes need to be on target and on time. Uh, they need to be crisp, they need to be in this, what we call strike zone. Uh, the more shots you get, uh, the more chance you have to win this drill. And also the better the passes, obviously we know leads to the quality of the shots we're gonna end up taking. You can easily translate this to any size workout too. You can do it with a small group of three. You could do it with anywhere between one and 20 people. So I think uh, this is something, no matter how many goals you have, no matter how many balls you have access to, you can make this drill work into your practices. So here's how the drill works. We start, we divide the team into two ends when we have a large group. We're up to 15 people. Uh, sometimes we have 16, depending on classes. Uh, but we divide them into two teams. You'll see red team's got seven, uh, gray team's got eight. But we always have the same number of balls. That's the key. Don't give one group a different number of balls based on how many people they have. Uh, we, start, we start in our seams here. This is our open windows. That's a spot we always like to make sure we shoot. Uh, we usually shoot all five spots on this day. We're shooting from here. Again, it's a shooting drill, so there's really no magic to this thing other than the way you score it and the way you determine the winner. The way you get points here is by making shots. One shot equals three points. Anytime you miss two shots in a row, you're going to go back by three points. So as we get going, I'm going to score the red team here as you're watching. We've got it going on both ends. You can get get an idea of how it becomes competitive. But I'll score the red team, and it's the first team to 33. A couple of things you'll want to do as a coach, you'll want to have somebody score on each end. And about the time you get to 24 or 27, start calling the score out loud so that both ends know one team's getting really close to winning. So let's score the red team here. We get a miss to start. Nothing happens until you get a make, so that's three. We got a miss, we need to make this shot. Now we're at six. 9, 12, 15, need it, back to 12. Does, nothing stop, starts again until you get another make. So we're at 12. We got a long string of misses. I'm not sure who wins this one. Back to 15, need it. 18, that was a big shot by Alexis Tolfrey. 21, 24, <clears throat> need it. Back to 21, got to get a string started. 24, need it. Big shot, 27, need it. Back to 24. Need to get a string going, we're at 24, we're at 27, we're at 30. Need it for the win. Boom, red wins. So you see them stop, Gray knows they've lost that. So in the scoring, make sure you're calling. You're seeing move to another spot. We usually play best out of five, depending on time, at least best two out of three. Uh, around baseball season, we did a World Series. We had best of seven. Let's score Gray this time. Three, they need this shot. Six, need it. Nine, 12, need it. 15, need it. Back to 12, get a string, 15, need it, back to 12, need a string going, we're at 12, we're at 15, we're at 18, 
Need it. 21. 24. Need it. 27. 30 for the game. Got it. A couple things that we like to do with this. Uh, you can do it individually for time. How long it takes them to get 33. You can do it two on two, uh, small groups, lots of different types of settings. If you've got a player that's, that's getting to 33 real fast, go to 66, go to 99. But this is one I think your players will like, no matter whether it's a one-on-one -on -one workout you're doing with them or in a small group. You'll also start to see some um, gamesmanship with your players. Uh, they'll, they'll make sure they try to get their great shooters in the front of the line sometimes. Be sure to watch for that. Make them stay in order. Make them stay in order. Uh, we always had a few players that always seemed to be up on the big shot too. Make them stay in order, make them determine in order and stick to it. Uh, but that's a good thing for your players to, to, to find first and you correct them on. You always want a player that's aggressive and going through this. So if you do this with your team, you get this thing in under 45, 30 seconds, give us an email, video it, send it to us. Uh, pick out your four best shooters and we'll do a challenge. Give us an email, send us the video, we'll pick out our four best or five best shooters, whatever you do, and we'll do a challenge with you. Thanks for tuning in today. Be back here in a couple of weeks with another drill.